So I've got one of my favorite fishes of all, this John Dory here, as you can see, the thumbprint from God right on there. So the best way that I'm gonna cook this is just lightly pan sear it, a um, little bit of salt and pepper, tiny bit of uh, lime juice, and I'm gonna put that on an Israeli couscous salad with some pumpkin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is score the fish. Just going to lubricate with some oil on both sides. And season with some sea salt. I'm gonna start the fish off in a cold pan. The reason why I do that is so that the skin doesn't curl. So it comes to temperature nice and slowly. I don't need to worry about it too much at the moment because while it's cooking on the skin side, it's protecting the flesh. Okay, so I've got some beautiful Israeli couscous here. This is gonna go straight into the bowl. Some beautiful roasted butternut pumpkin that I roasted earlier. Just for some nice color and texture, I've got some spinach that I've just sliced up or chiffonade and some lovely Spanish onion. Some red chili. I've got some diced cucumber here. Also some sun-dried tomato and some lovely chopped asparagus. Some red wine vinegar, olive oil to bring it all together, salt and some cracked pepper. We'll give this a good tossed around. Okay, I better check the fish. We'll see how we're going. Oh, nice and crispy skin. So I'm just gonna leave that now off the heat and it'll carry on cooking the fish, the residual heat in the pan. And I'm gonna get back to the salad. Gonna put a salad ring there. The salad ring just helps control the pearl pasta from going all over the plate. So we're gonna fill the ring like so, carefully. Don't worry too much if a little bit falls on the plate. That's probably enough for now. So now I'm gonna remove the ring, nice and gently. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit more of the salad just down the plate. I'm gonna put some toasted macadamia nuts on here for a little bit of crunch. And we're gonna drizzle with some olive oil. Now we're gonna to top with our John Dory. I'm just gonna slice this fish for presentation on the plate. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of this red wine vinegar on top of the fish. So there we go, folks. A simple little dish that you guys can do at home. Don't forget to get down to your local fish market and check out the John Dory. It's absolutely superb. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Now, if you want any of these recipes, you can go to escapewithet.com and you can check out the link in the description box. Or you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you next week.